let's take a look at uh, how we can do image classification um, using Watson IBM Watson studio today so the big advantage of using this cloud enablers is basically we don't have to worry about um, actually doing a lot of coding so in this case we won't be even writing a single line of code so everything uh, we will be able to just select the correct options and then build a model and test the model the reason why I feel this is important is um, because it's it takes a lot of time to build an application from ground up so if in case you have a data set and you want to see if the data set is good enough for your use case to you know and um, with this approach we don't have to spend a lot of time to build everything from ground up we can just use these services so we recently had to work on a word prediction model so wherein um, we are not sure if that particular data set that we have will is, is useful or not so uh, but unfortunately you know we had to spend a lot of time to build the entire application ground up and then only we were able to actually test that data set so these cloud based uh, cloud cloud based services they provide us an option a free option for us to try it out for free and only oh, if we uh, still if you if we think that it is good enough to do it in long term we can use the paid service and apply the, use the services for a long time and deploy it to you into a production environment or else we could go back and build our own custom models from with our own expertise and then deploy that into production so that is the biggest advantage we have with this um, cloud services so let's get started so the first thing what we need to do is go to cloud.ibm.com um, and go to slash catalog and if you already have an account you can use an account or else you could sign up for free so while signing up make sure each select the US or US region uh, when you sign up for an account okay since I have an account I'll go ahead and log in If you see here next to the login you have a sign up option okay so you don't necessarily need to have an actual IBM ID now that says at IBM.com at the right IBM.com you can use your Gmail ID also to log in so it's logging me in okay so I'm logged in so from the catalog we are going to select two products so one is your object storage okay so that's the first one you're seeing here the first two options you see here so the object storage and also the Watson studio so the first thing that you need to do is go into the object storage and create a free object storage so make sure you select the light free option um, so you create an object storage and uh, So here you'll see the pricing plans here. So basically you'll here have two plans. One is a light plan, another standard plan. So light plan is free. So basically I'm, I'm uh, so I can go ahead and create a light plan. So that is the first step for us. So and uh, the second step, you have to go back to catalog again and here um, and create a uh, Watson Studio instance so the same if you see the Watson Studio IBM services a machine learning so this light free version you need to create one okay, let's go ahead and create a Watson Studio also instance so it's take us to another page um, so here also you'll see the price pricing plans so you can choose the free light version not the standard version so um, and uh, one more important thing is we need to select the region as Dallas by default I believe it populates London but you need to change it to Dallas so that you are able to train the models um, so 
that we need to be careful and then you can go ahead and create an instance so once this loads it will take us to another page where it will give us an option so this this page appears and it will ask us give us an option to get started let's just click on get started so we click on get started and then it will take us to And it will take us to this page. Until it shows an option to create a new project. So we have the data sets here. It's present in a Google Drive. So I'm just going to download it to my local machine and keep it ready. So, so uh, we have three data sets here, like aerial homes burnt homes and not homes so that's the data set and uh, so inside here we have some test data sets looks like this will be used for testing we'll see. Um, so we are supposed to download these files let's download them let's click on the new project option and then open it so we it says create an empty project let's click here to create a new project so yeah it's so let's name it as wildfire we could give any names we want mm -hmm. since we are uh, trying to find out classify the houses burned through because of wildfire we are just gonna give the name wildfire burned homes it says zero byte used from the cloud object storage that we created so this uh, IBM Watson Studio using the cloud object storage that we already created. Go to the settings under settings, add associated services. We need to add a new service like an add on and it will allow list us a list of list of um, options so here so we can select a lot of services here text to speech speech to text natural language classification language translator and all those things lot of options we have we need to add the visual recognition so because we are working on images we'll add visual recognition and uh, once we go into that it will choose the light because that is free for now let's go and select light and then create so once you click create you will get the options to select from which regions always go for Dallas because Dallas is always free uh, so and once you pick Dallas you can click create confirm here and then it will take you to the uh, next page so here in the overview tab go to add project and then each select the visual recognition we have two options so classify images or detect objects so we could either use classify images or detect objects so, 
custom models the does not use already pre-trained uh, uh, trained information it will have to train everything on our own with our own uh, data of course images so let's select the classify images so it will take a few seconds to load so basically it will just uh, give you options to create classes now so and by default it will give you a negative uh, negative class and we can add your positive and negative cl uh, classes here so now model is created so now we need to select different classes and add your own images to the particular class let's create a class called uh, bond home bond home so we'll create another class called intact it so it's more like a negative class classification so we have all the three data sets here let's drag them let's try to drag and drop here okay okay let's wait let's see it's uploading 7% pending pending loading file into model okay once the files are uploaded you can add these zip files to the corresponding classes as provided as default basically you can upload images that are not even homes okay so aerial is done so next one So what you can do is by default it gets added to some default classes each uh, zip file you can go into this open that class and then delete the class and the images along with it you know so okay so now it's getting uploaded as different classes here let's see if it gets added to its own class it will allow us to add it to our uh, custom class that we created so we'll drag the burned homes to the burned home class and uh, we will add the other, other zip files also to the corresponding classes. So we have three zip files and then three classes. Then we'll take the aerial homes to the intact homes mm -hmm. class. And uh, <coughs> take the not homes to the negative class. So we got uh, all the images loaded to different classes. So we got some 14 images in bond houses classic class we got 17 images with intact homes class and we got 11 images in not a home classification that's negative so that's okay, let's train it takes some time to train the model so we'll have to just wait for a few minutes for it to complete it takes some time to train so it's important that we select dallas when we initially um, actually create the watson uh, from the catalog so so now it's actually training. Let's let's give it a few minutes for it to complete the training. So our training is now complete. So if you see here your training says your training model training was successful. Click here to view and test your model. Okay, let's click here and test it.
So taking us to this particular page and uh, right now let's go to the test and we could, we could browse the file and then add those files for uh, testing as such. So looks like it expects a file that's unzipped file that's unzipped here. So this test so this test data basically contains uh, some images which are randomly picked. It could either be burned house uh, due to forest fire or it could be a unburned house or it could be a not a house at all so we have some random images nice. here okay let's load this data see if it is able to classify properly okay so now it's with the train now the model is trained now it's able to test it so it's saying the first image clearly is a burnt home so it says 0.84 percentage that it's chances are that's it's a burnt home so that's perfect so it's able to catch it properly so the next image i'm not sure it looks like a burnt uh, area but it's like a, from a higher uh, perspective let's go back and see what kind of okay so here it seems it's actually a burned forest imaged from a higher altitude so so here it says it looks like a bond home 0.02 percent but it doesn't have any uh, actual homes in it right um, but uh, it says something is burnt okay that that's okay that's an accurate prediction so it says it doesn't have any homes that's what it says basically the third image it's saying it's a burnt image 0.5 and intact form is 0 0.0. So let's see that image realistically to see if that's true. Yeah, that's definitely burnt. So we got a lot of houses that is burnt there. So definitely that image has burnt houses. That's accurate. The fourth image it says burnt home 0.11%. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, definitely there are some burnt homes, especially you know on the bottom edge of the image and there could be more burned houses here i'm not able to spot everything but definitely there is so it says so clearly it's from a high altitude it's um, not sure sure so but it's still able to say that you know it's 0.1 percent 1.11 percent chance that um, uh, it's actually a burnt house so we got a few more burned houses so it's clearly burned houses saying burnt home yes 0.79 percentage next one burn house yes 0.38 percent and uh, again another burn house 0.65 percentage okay so it looks like uh, it's able to identify properly so that that's that that's the story i guess we got it right so the only hiccup that we had is especially how you know picking the correct um, watson studio location region should be Dallas and, and uh, that's how you get it uh, and choose the light version and that's how you get it free. So successfully implemented image classification with IBM Watson Studio. Thanks.